I mean, look, I, I never planned to sing, honestly. I never planned to sing. It was like, I used to rap, actually, a little bit, you know. Rap. Just like for fun. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Karak With. And today we are with the one and only Mr. Maher Zain, the immensely talented singer, songwriter, all round music producer that has touched the hearts of so many all around the world with his beautiful and inspiring style of music. Recently, he is also one of the Arab singers who has featured in one of the World Cup songs, Tahiya. So we're very, very glad to have you with us today. Welcome. Thank you so much. What an introduction. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate I feel whatever it. intro I do to you, it's not going to do you justice. No, no, so... that, this was really good. This yeah? was really good. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. It's so... more than enough. <laughs> So I know you've been to Qatar before, this is not your first time. Yeah, like third time I think now. So how are you finding time. it different this time? Is there something unique, something different, other of, other than of course the, the vibe <laughs> of the World Cup? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, the, that's a huge, huge difference that you notice immediately when you come here, you know. Even like when, you, when you're landing in the airplane, you see that and you feel that. But I think the, the main thing, I guess, is that uh, the first time I came here was in July, which means that was crazy hot. I remember, I will never forget, we were going out for an ice cream, you know, but the ice cream just, before you even got it, you know, it just like melted, so, so I will never forget that. But now, alhamdulillah, the weather is beautiful and the vibe is beautiful and we are enjoying it a lot, you know. Your FIFA song, Tahiya. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the song, what inspired it, maybe some behind the scenes of creating the song and how has it been received? I mean, first, alhamdulillah, he has been received very well, you know, overwhelming and uh, we are very happy and uh, you know, very, very extremely happy actually, you know, about the feedback and uh, many people have said, you know, that this song is like, should be the main, so which, which makes us very happy. But Alhamdulillah, other than that, you know, we know the FIFA songs that my friend Red One has done has gone crazy, you know, also, and which I love. So Alhamdulillah, we got the opportunity and uh, we started working on it. So I flew straight away to Sweden, started working on the song on the way to the studio, like in the plane, so I have the recording in my, uh, in my phone. And then I got to the studio and we started. Uh, yeah, and then we started filming. That was also challenging, but the, the song always kept us, you know, like this energy kept us alive. It was crazy. It was so fun. You've collaborated with different amazing artists mm -hmm. in many of your different songs. So is there someone, if you could name one, yeah. who would you like to create another song with John in Legend. the future? That is a good choice. I love that. I, I love his voice, his art, you know, as an artist, is, is amazing, you know. So I've heard that you did not know you could sing until 2009. Yeah, how, basically, yeah. How yeah. is that possible to go from someone who is not sure if they can sing yeah. to being one of the most popular, mm -hmm. if not the most popular singer in the Islamic world today? I mean, look, I, I never planned to sing, honestly. I never planned to sing. It was like, I used to rap actually a little bit, you know, rap. just like for fun. But I was on a, like an R&B cruise one day in Sweden and uh, they had a karaoke uh, com competition. And I was standing on the side and I was like, man, I got like very excited to sing, but I was nervous, obviously. Mm. So, uh, so I sang it and that's like, oh, okay, the feedback is different when you sing and when you, than when you rap. So what motivates you to keep singing? Or if I can phrase it differently, what is, other than the beautiful lyrics, mm. what, what, do you, what is your message with your music or what do you hope to achieve? Or what's mm -hmm. the reason, what's your why? When I started practicing, you know, Islam, I came closer to Islam. I felt like I want to uh, uh, express uh, you know, like what I wanted to share. You know, there's so many things I wanted to share and I thought like music, I have the music and it's a strong medium. So let's combine that, you know, the experience of music and then just like trying to uh, write songs that inspire, lift, you know, uplift people and uh, make them happy, you know, whatever any yani, occasion it can be. So, yeah. Coming to World Cup and FIFA for a moment. Mm. So I've heard that you're not the biggest football fan. Yeah. But then if you open up your social media, it really does not reflect this statement. <laughs> At least so the, you lately. come across as the greatest football <laughs> know, fan of all time. It's because of Morocco, what can I do? <laughs> I know, right? We're all rooting for <laughs> yes, them. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much. I speak on behalf of so many people around the world. You've inspired us all and keep doing what I'm you're good. doing. Thank you. And thank you again. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you everybody for watching today's episode and I'll see you soon in the next one. Hey, 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 hey.